Are you living for Jesus Christ now? Okay. Are you happy? Okay. You may cuss, have sex before marriage, have sex with someone's spouse. You may yell at people for no good reason. You may still lie, cheat. You may be doing so much wrong, but is it making you happy? You may say living for God restricts your life and you want to have fun. Okay. Are you having fun? Is it bringing you happiness? Maybe for a short time, you may think you are having fun. You may think you are happy, but is it really making you happy? You may be depressed. You may be angry a, a lot. You may have some type of unhappiness. Is doing what you want is it making you happy? And I believe the answer is no. So if it isn't making you happy, why not live for God? Okay. You may say to me, Kevin, even if I live for God, I am going to be unhappy. Okay. If you are going to be unhappy either way, why not live for God then? And you may say, living for God isn't going to benefit me. All right. Let's say that is partly true. I believe you may know of heaven and hell. Even if there is no earthly benefit for living for God, let's say you will miss out on hell if you live for God. Isn't that incentive enough to live for God? You are doing what you want and you are unhappy. You are depressed. You may be getting drunk and what is that word some people use? Turn up. You may be turning up. <laughs> and you are still unhappy. Why not live for God longer than a week, longer than a day, or a few hours, longer than a year, but consistently live for God. Why not do that if you are not happy with your life now? Think about that. If doing what you want is making you, if doing what you want, if you are still unhappy, why not try God? not only for a day or a week or whatever, but consistently. You may say there is no benefit in living for God. I believe you are saying that because perhaps you have not much experience in it. So do it longer than two, three years myself. I think as I grow in God, and I believe I am growing, I think I am learning more and more. What I know now, I probably did not know three years ago or four years ago. But as I grow in God, I learn more. 
So probably in the spot you are now, you may not know much about God. So how can you say, well, you know, living for God is so boring and there is no benefit when you don't really read the Bible. How can you say that if this applies to you? Like, I think as I read the Bible, I see more benefit. I think there are so many benefits in living for God. So you are over there turning up, doing what you want, and still are unhappy. But you think to yourself, you are going to be unhappy if you live for God. Even if that is true, wouldn't it be better to be unhappy living for God than to be unhappy not living for God? Think about that. Let me stop here. God bless you.